So now we will see how to convert decimal into octal using floating point numbers. The procedure is almost the same but the only difference is that when we were converting decimal into binary we multiplied the number by 2 but in this case we will multiply the number with 8 because we have to convert decimal into octal and octal has the base 8 so that's why. So here in this example we are given with the number 0 0.015625 in decimal and we have to convert it into octal. So let's see how do we solve it. So this is the number given and we multiply it with 8 because base of octal is equal to 8 that's why. So we get the final answer 0.125. So here the integer part is 0 and the fractional part is 0.125. So is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, the fractional part is not equal to 0. So we will take the fractional part and multiply it with 8 again. So we get the answer 1.000 or you can say 1. So now the integer part is 1 and the fractional part is equal to 0. 0, 0 0.0 or you can say 0. So is the fractional part is equal to 0? Yes, it is 0. So now when the fractional part is equal to 0, we will stop the procedure. And once again in this case, we will calculate the answer by going from top to bottom of the integer part. So now we can say that the answer is 0 0.01 that is first comes point and then 0 and 1. See we are going from top to bottom of the integer part. Alright so we will calculate it in this way. The decimal point will maintain its place that is towards the left side of the number. So now we can say that the number 0 0.01 Five six two five in decimal is equal to point zero one in binary.